Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is one of those games that I can't believe it even exists, much less that it's so good. The first Mario RPG was handled partly by Squaresoft, and despite the ridiculousness of the idea, it turned out damn good. Now there's all these spin-offs like Paper Mario, and Super Paper Mario, and Mario and Luigi. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is my personal favorite. It just fires on all cylinders. Firstly, I love the art style of the game, where everything is made out of paper, and although this is already done in the first Paper Mario for Nintendo 64, the GameCube's extra punch really helped out here. Some of the paper constructions are really impressive and imaginative. The game is bright, vibrant, and full of color and life. Though the story is epic in its nature, it's also highly amusing. I mean, the idea of Mario in an RPG is already kind of funny, and the game's simple humor really accentuates this. In your quest to open the thousand-year door and rescue Peach from a group of crazy assholes called the x Knots, you'll do all sorts of stuff, like defeat a dragon, get caught in a gang turf war, travel into outer space, and even become a professional wrestler. The game's simple combat system makes it easy to pick up and play, but the timed hits make you an active participant in the battles, and all the fights are performed in a stage in front of the audience, which is actually... it affects everything. You could even show off for the audience to get a better reaction and better star power, and some enemies will attack the audience instead of you. There are a number of companions that will join Mario, but my favorite is the Goomba, Goombella. She's just hilarious. You could use her tattle ability to get info on people, places, and even enemies, and I often found myself cracking up at her sarcastic observations, or the way she'll just insult some characters. The game has a fairly linear progression. There's even levels called chapters, and the main area of the game is not an overworld, it's a city. That being said, there's still plenty of room to wander around and discover hidden items. You even get to play as Peach and Bowser, which is often much funnier than it should be, like the parts where Peach has a computer fall in love with her, or Bowser's, Bowser's whole personality. The game is chock full of humor and crazy situations. There's loads of dungeons to play through, including an optional 99 level dungeon challenge, and the characters all teem with originality and personality. It's also one of those sorts of things that both adults and kids will enjoy. So obviously the game is fairly kid-friendly, but I found a lot of the humor was surprisingly adult. Some references and jokes will go right over kids' heads. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is, in a lot of ways, the accumulation of all the Mario RPGs that came before it, and it's a long, satisfying game that I found has had a lot of replay value. The game is just so crazy that it's almost like a surrealist takeoff on RPGs, and Mario games in general. And the game even references other games, like there's a kid who talks about Fire Emblem and Kirby games. If you haven't given this game a try, you need to track it down and fire up your GameCube, or Wii as the case may be, and give it a shot. You certainly won't be disappointed.